Right now we are entering into our congregational prayer and I pray the God of heaven will help us in Jesus name. Today is the first day in the month of September and our prayer focus is securing the ninth month for newness. Securing the ninth month for newness. The same way the devil, the same way God is preparing great things for you, the devil is also orchestrating his own things. And it's our own duty, it's our own place to take take our stand in the place of prayer. The Bible said in the book of Matthew, it says, Since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violent. And I pray the God of heaven will grant us grace and strength in Jesus' name. Our uh, first prayer point uh, focus is from the book of Psalm 107. Psalm 107, we read verse 8 to 9. Psalm 107, 8 to 9. It says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Amen. Today we can pray and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your provision. I thank you for your protection up, upon my life, upon my family, upon my children, upon my uh, my friends, upon my career, upon your church, even as a whole. In Jesus' name, let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, oh Lord, thank you, God. We look all around us, God, and we can see your hand in our life. And we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for your kindness. We thank you, God, for your for the peace, for the joy. Thank you, God, for all your abundance. Thank you for you have never put us to shame. We say be thou exalted, God, in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. We bless you. We adore you. We lift you high. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus, for the month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And now we thank you for the month of September. The ninth month, the month which you are sending unto us, the, the Father of hell. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The next prayer point is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 14, that says, How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Amen. There are many things that are in our lives that does not allow us to serve the living God. There's so many errors in our lives. Today we're going to pray, say, Merciful Father, purge me from every dead works that hinder me from serving you devotedly. And forgive me of all sins that hinders me from that, that hinders me you from not hearing me in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, let's come to you, oh Lord. We said in your way, say if I say I have not sinned, I'm a liar, and there's no truth in me. And today I come to you and I say, Oh Lord, purge me from every dead work, oh Lord. The dead works that does not allow me to serve you right. The dead works of, of worldliness. The dead works of oh, I want to have money. The dead works of, of fame. The dead works of, 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 of a pursuing career. The dead works of oh, cares of this world. Oh Lord, forgive me, Lord, in Jesus' name. The grace to be able to serve you wholeheartedly, devotedly, give to me and forgive me, forgive me of all sins that hinders you from hearing me in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, God, for the soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Mark 3 27 said, In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up, then he can plunder the man's house. The strong man himself is the devil, and Jesus Christ acknowledges the devil as a strong man. And so, before we can say we want to take what belongs to us in the month of September, we have to tie that down the strong man. Today when I grow in prayer, I say, my father, my father, I take my stand against every strong man of the ninth month. In September, I put that strong man under bondage so that I will take all of my blessings in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, I pray Lord in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, I take my stand against the strong man in the month of September. The strong man behind me, the devil has assigned. That strong man of the ember month that causes, that causes evil, that causes shame that causes death that causes reproach i say today i take my stand against you i rebuke you i say the fire of god is against you that you that power that comes is small and later you become big to take that which is ours i say i cast you out of our lives in jesus name that strong man that fits men in the dream so they can be put down so they can be subjected i say whatever you have given us or me or anyone i say we revomit them by fire and we nullify them now in jesus name thank you for the soul 
In Jesus' name, we are praying. First Chronicles chapter 27, verse 12. The Bible speaks about the twelfth and uh, the ninth and uh, the ninth month. It said the ninth for the ninth month was Abiezer, the Anonite, a Benjamite. There were 24,000 men in his division. Abiezer means the father of help. And that is the angel God is sending to us in this ninth month. The angel of help. We're going to pray, mighty God. Send your angel of the ninth month, the angel of help, to descend with the host of heaven. That 24,000 that are in his legion, let them descend today, O God, to grant me the newness in this ninth month in Jesus' name. Let me pray. O God of heaven, O Lord, I pray that you send me the angel of the ninth month, O Lord, in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, send forth the angel of the ninth month to me now that, O Lord, it might grant me help. Let the angel of help descend to help me into my greatness, into my newness, into my joy, into my favor, into my abundance, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it is so. I bless your name. I give you all the praise of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That all that the enemy has stolen, I receive back, I possess, and I take hold now in the name of Jesus. I possess now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the angel of the ninth month. Thank you for the hosts of heaven that you have sent forth. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Psalm 24 verse 7 says, Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Brothers and sisters, we need to speak to the gates and doors of September. That the goodness and the power and the newness of God will come in. Today we bring and say, My Father, my Father, I speak the word of God to the gates and the, to the doors of September. That it be lifted up now. That my newness might manifest in Jesus. Now let me to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I say, I speak to the gates and to the doors of September. The gates of blessing, the doors of blessing. I say, be, leave, be opened right now to me in the name of Jesus as you did in the days of, of Peter. That the angel was working with Peter and the gates opened of their own accord. I pray, oh God of heaven, let the gates open of their own accord today in Jesus' name. That the gates of September be open unto me the gate of newness be open unto me the gate of favor be open unto me the gate of increase be open unto me the gate of abundance be open unto me in jesus name father i bless you and i give you praise in jesus name we are praying amen, amen. but i think we'll take that same prayer again and just start the god of heaven and say oh lord let your power open that door Bible said that he has the key of david that he can open and no one can shut brothers and sisters we don't have the the key so and he said he has given us the key of david that opens and no one can shut i want us to pray and say oh god of heaven let that key oh god open the gates oh god of september unto me let that key oh god open all the doors of september unto me that my blessing and my goodness be made manifest in jesus name. let me to pray oh god of heaven oh lord i pray you said, oh Lord, you own the key of David. And you say, you, you, you open and no one can shut. And today I pray, open unto me the blessing of September. Open unto me the oh Lord, increase of September. Open unto me the newness, oh Lord, in September. So that no one will be able to shut in Jesus' name. And with that same key, I say, open unto me favor, increase, abundance in the name of Jesus. Open unto me, O God, increase in the name of Jesus and shut the, de- the gates of sickness, shut the gate of death, shut the gate of, o Lord, uh, of regression, shut the gate of, of, of backward S in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 10 says, When Sambala the horror hor- night and tobiah the ammonite official heard about this they were much disturbed that someone had come to promote the welfare of the israelites i've always thought to myself why is it that some people are angry that god is blessing you 
The truth is this is not just happening now. It's been happening even before our time. In the days of, the, of, of Nehemiah, it happened. That when somebody saw that God wants to change the testimony of some certain people, they were angry. You see people living in poverty. But you saw a program that will change their life and you're angry that they want to implement that kind of program. Today we're going to pray, say, mighty God, every power in the order of Sambalat and Tobiah that wants to resist the season of my newness, that I have heard of what you want to do in my life and wants to resist it, let them be disgraced right now in Jesus. Now let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I say every power in the order of Sambalat and Tobiah, I say that I want to resist my season of newness. I say let shame come unto them. As shame came unto Sambalat and Tobiah, let it let there be the portion in Jesus' name that they are disgraced. They are disgraced in Jesus' name. They are disgraced in the name of Jesus. They are disgraced in the name of Jesus. They are disgraced in the name of Jesus. I say every Tobalad and Tobia be disgraced right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for the soul. In Jesus' name we are praying. Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 says, Now the gates of Jericho were surely barred because of the Israelites. They were not barred because we were trying to keep out our way lions. They were barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Today we're going to pray my father, my father, let the walls of Jericho that, has sh- that have shut themselves against me fall now so that I will enter into my newness in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray that I speak to every wall of Jericho, every wall that is standing against me. I say that I shot and they are bad because of me. Today I pray, be open in the name of Jesus. You that door, you that gate, I speak to you today. I say be open now in Jesus' name. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Let that wall fall that I enter into my season of abundance. That I enter into my season of increase in Jesus' name. Thank you for your soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Esther 6 1 says that night the king could not sleep, so he ordered the book of the Chronicles, the, uh, the record of his reign, to be brought in and read to him. Today we can pray, say, Mighty God, cause the angel of the ninth month to open the book of remembrance concerning me, that all who stand in the place of favor will favor me. So that they will not rest until I am favored in Jesus. And let's me to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray that in this ninth month, let the book of remembrance be open unto me. That the book of remembrance of the good things of God. That, oh Lord, you will remember the words that you have spoken over me. You will remember the goodness you have spoken over me. You will remember the increase you have declared over me. Oh Lord, let, it be, let that book of remembrance of good things. Oh Lord, be open and let those you have assigned to bless me, oh Lord, give to me my blessing now in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so in Jesus' name we are praying. First Kings chapter 18, um, verse 38. First Kings 18 38. He said, Then the fire of the Lord fell and burnt up the sacrifice, the wood, and the stones, and the soil. And also licked up the water in the trench. Right now we are interceding for the church of God. God's kingdom mission. And all churches all over the world. That God of heaven will send fire into his church. And cause a great revival. So that all that, so that men may come to God. And may know that indeed God is in our midst. In Jesus. And there's been a prayer for the church. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we stand as intercessors for Zion. We stand as intercessors for the church. And we pray today. That, O oh Lord, let your fire fall. As in the days of Elijah, let your fire fall in your church. That, O oh Lord, there may be great revival. That men might know indeed that God is in our camp. That God is in our midst in Jesus' name. O oh God of heaven, let this be our portion, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the soul, God. We bless your name. Let your fire descend, O oh Lord, in your church, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are still praying for the church according to Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Say, praising God and having favor with all the people, the Lord added to the church daily as such as 
should be saved. Again, impress the mighty God. Do as in the days of the apostles and grant us favor in getting a place of worship and adding to your church as such to be saved in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray, Lord, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray that, oh Lord, you will add to your church, oh God, Jesus, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, Lord, that you expand your church in Jesus' name. Expand your church in the name of Jesus. Expand your church in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, send to us laborers from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the soul. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, we're going to be praying for Canada according to Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 9. Uh, we're going to be praying and say, My Father, my Father, by the spirit of prophecy, I declare life over Canada that all that is dead come alive now in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We declare over Canada that all oh Lord, your life be made manifest in Jesus' name. Jesus, we pray that life become unto manifest in Canada. That Canada receive life, Canada receive strength in Jesus' name. That the goodness of God, the power of God, the favor of God be made manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We declare life over Canada. We declare life over Canada. I declare that life Canada receive life right now in Jesus' name. That life, oh Lord, go, go come into Canada in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless you. I give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you, God, for today, God, we give you praise. You said in your word, you say, if my people who are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray. You said you will hear from heaven and you will heal the land. And O God of heaven, as we have prayed today, I say, shall be Lord in Jesus' name. You said in your word, Lord, Lord, you said we shall decree 18 and it shall be made established. And I decree, O God of heaven, that everything, O Lord, we have spoken shall be made established unto us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for it. So, God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying.